And welcome back to Spectacular Mr. Clout, with your host, Ultimate Clout Gamer. Claire Redfield. Finally come back to us. Been months since we last seen her in Raccoon City. Fortunately, she's been captured and she's been in prison on a very mysterious island, home of the T. Veronica virus and all the monstrosities that are on this island. Let's watch as she goes through a new nightmare. I have not played this in ages. I have only beaten this game once too. This game is also a very difficult Resident Evil game. It's up there. Resident Evil. What I don't like is that it should be more sinister. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later. Identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris Lab facility 10 days ago. 
She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. I just love how you play PS2 games on the PS5. Past generations in general. Interesting is the quality is better for y'all than what I'm seeing, but that's okay. If I were equipped with the light, I could see outside. <laughs> Oh, the graphics seem better right now, but more or less the same. Perfect. Go on, get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. This is much better than the last couple of games. Graphically. Hair runs much faster too. Which is 
is good. Okay. I'm glad 180 is back. And the static, static capsule is on the floor. It's empty. List of prisoners, my name is at the end. WKD 4496 Claire Redfield, the escort's name is at the end of that document. Brella Medical Paris, third security unit leader, Rodrigo Juan Raval. Misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those mon- Shut up! Make one wrong move and I'll shoot! Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. 
I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. If only he knew. <laughs> Got her adventures in Raccoon City. Prisoner's Diary. May 13th. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. May 16th. Today, Bob told me some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. Bob said he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? 
May 20th, without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind a guillotine stand. At midnight, I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are really these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I'd better pray for Bob. May 21st, I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. May 27th, since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. That sucks. Simply place the material that you want to have scan onto the tray the scanner. The scan object will be processed in the 3D data which will be transferred to the duplicator portion. Duplicator portion, if you place the material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. The conversion will be executed with complete data accuracy. The result will be an object precisely true to the original. Facility access application. Be sure to verify the content of the following facility access application form and add the applicant's name to the expected, expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guard Room Paul Stein. 
I hear by apply for the access permission for prison area D. Details follow. Visitor's name Carl Grimson. Purpose of entry carrying in the following materials. New product sample from Metal Industries CO TG01. Various daily convenient commodities ordered by the prison. Note we'll use a transportation truck. TG01 sample will be stored in a designated briefcase. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know! What was that all about? Email to Leon has already been sent. Yes, indeed. What was that all about? We will find out at one point. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Yes, we'll have to come back for another point.
Interesting how that note just spoke about this big case. TGA one product description. Thank you for your continued support for using our product. This time we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have succeeded in creating a unique anti nail detection alloy TGO1. TGO1 features cannot be detected by any metal detectors, cannot be pictured by real ranch Gian Rio Tenjin Graffy of the immigration check. Lightweight yet durable. We plan to develop various weapons utilizing this innovation new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding possible business opportunities. Medical Metal Industries Co. Chief Development Planning Carl Redding. <laughs> Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box.
need to run. most of those zombies, but it is what it is. Everybody see everything okay on that side? It's a little darker on the actual stream. Yeah, 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 yeah
The loading screen steps. Let's go back. Dealing with these dogs. Some dogs need to die. Oh. 
What is going on? He's just more ammo to replenish what I've already lost. serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister Alexia in his private house in the hill. Occasionally I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. It may have been Alexia whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only arranged enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any leniency. If I put, ask about her again, I could put my life at risk. After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexa a secret. Robert Dorsey. <laughs>
To trick if you have a wider, you can keep those bats at bay. Your model has her an ant is to display here. They're peculiar. Sick children these are. Yeah, 
tracked. No one grabs that in the world truck. Solid shot. I like that. I was too close, but I found something thanks to you. Enough, I remember. Looks cool, huh? To that puzzle. Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding! I found it, and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. The dogs are coming. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. This room. See you around, Claire. Adios. Don't worry, dog. Hey, I'll have a nice human carcass for you to chew on here soon. So human flesh. How human dare enough. you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! 
<laughs> the Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> Nuts. He is mad beyond mad. Well, that's one way to get rid of a zombie.
broken. Oh, we got this key with the tag. Digit pass number. I hope you haven't forgotten about that already. I just received an order from system administrator requesting us to change the pass number periodically. What bothers me is that you often lose important memos, pass numbers, or even chemicals. So, in an attempt to solve that problem, I came up with an idea. You know the red human skeleton picture at the back of the biology experiment room? I decided to use the number to slide on the picture as the pass number. You happen to lose the memo, just look at the picture. Well, I don't think you would ever need to use the emergency pass number anyway, but just in case, now you know. Take it easy, Mr. Careless. <laughs> Saucy on my screen. And how are you today, good sir? There used to be no one around. The red picture is hanging in the back. Can't see that number for me. Biohazard contamination detected. Level 3. Emergency shutters will close. All personnel evacuate immediately. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> that was close.
This playthrough, I'm allowed to use first aid sprays because this game is actually quite difficult and it will make you use a lot of your supplies. You know, at one point, when I was facing Alexia the first time, I had maybe one healing item. Just a, just a couple healing items. I didn't have no weapons, and all I had was my knife. It took a lot of tries, but eventually I killed her. But it was not easy. Some places we haven't explored in the palace, but we'll get there soon enough. be found around.
What's out here? Can't do nothing with that. is there. to the plane.
time to go back to the military facility. we can find at the military facility.
and I'm back. At least I knocked his hard hat off. like a little bitch. I have prepared just for you. Shall Please try ground? and keep me amused, and do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. Thank <laughs> you. 
time. Oh, we found this medicine right here. Mr. Heartbeats to the door. To the doors. <laughs> While traveling through the doors, I have to say. What in the. Uh... Ooh, the Bandersnatch! <laughs> That door just opened. Your knight in shining armor is here. He's just trying to get into her red fields. You wish, but thanks for the help. See? This is why you need me. I got your back. Whatever. Here, take these. Machine guns? For me? You know the deal, in exchange for your Lugers. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> this thing is too cool! Yes! Now this is my kind of weapon! Alright! Huh? <laughs> hey! This thing's empty! You cheated me! Up there! Plenty of ammo, just for you! Way up there? Give me a boost and I'll get it for you! Alright, alright! Ow! My back! You're heavier than you look! Hurry up! Happy now? What? Now that your knight has made his appearance, he can join you in your descent into death. Let's do it! Here. Wait here, Claire! Time to test out my new toy! Uh -oh. <laughs> now, there 
is gonna be horror filled. I'm gonna turn into an action It was dirty work, but this area is now clean. See? You can depend on me. You see? This thing is a lot more reliable than any person. Than people? Steve. What were you doing here? Who brought you here and where is your family? Shut up! I don't want to talk about it! Steve. Never mind. Let's get going. Can't do nothing with any of that. Do I really have to follow Steve? I have all this other stuff I need to get.
You almost killed Claire too. Steve. Father. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I used to work for Umbrella. I tried to steal information, intending to sell it off to the highest bidder. He was caught. Mom was killed. And we were sent here. Oh, Steve. He was a fool to do something so reckless. So stupid. It's okay now. Just rest. Better sweets. took care of all the zombies. I see. Nothing.
Or the one I was at previously.
this. Let us get the grenade launcher. two of those to be in our room. Must be more.
Let's go to the top floor now. be a trap of sorts here. The albinoid description. A creature which is created by injecting the T-Rods into the genes of a salamander. Characteristics. Similar to a normal amphibian, and the albinoid's body will change as it grows with age. When young, an albinoid is small in size. But it can grow to over seven feet in a very short time frame, ten plus hours. They possess high mobility and are able to discharge electricity. Those characteristics are most notable when they are underwater in their adult form. Nothing healthy. In the second one, biohazard breakout in the bio experimental room. Switch to switch to security monitor. I just gained a great idea. One, one, two, six. The bio experiment room has been ventilating. The past number door lock system has been enabled. Yeah. 
this area. We got rid of that card. to get whatever is in here. It's probably this photo. This, yes, this skeleton picture. Contamination detected. Level three. Emergency shutters will close. All personnel evacuate.
Mine has been permanently sealed. But I know where it goes. I hate sand worms. Need to find that art room. <sighs> That's all we have to go to. That's all that needs to be. What I can do to put the picture, the art. Room. The case of training facilities completion, December 8, Alfred Ashford. <laughs> Get the gold key and the gold lugers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not yet. We should return to the saving first. But now that I know they are dead, I can easily take care of the next thing. The next time that I am on. to say well, wasn't that a very terrifying story but we're not done there's many more surprises on Rockford Island. More terror. And more evil at this residence. Until the next time, sweet dreams. And please follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube. Thank you.